Strickland stripped by Bolton. Poetry. What a play by Lawrence. In. Moten. Moten anticipating the pass by Kawadla. Lawrence lays it in. Watching Lawrence Moten was a treat. To the tune. There's Lawrence. Tough angle. He makes it. Of 2,334 points. The most in Orange history. Now, 23 years after his final game at Syracuse, his number 21 jersey going to the Carrier Dome Rafters forever. Surreal, to say the least. Oh, I haven't really thought about it yet. It hasn't hit me. But uh, definitely uh, it's going to be a great feeling, you know, to have my daughters there, to have my family and friends there, and, and all my Syracuse family there. You know, when I step into that dome, it was a situation where um, – I always felt like it was my second home, mm. you know, like I was going into my house and all of the fans were my friends and I was going to show them a good time. The, the whole city of Syracuse and the community and the university is uh, uh, dear to my heart. You know, I consider Syracuse my second home. You know, I've, I've got a chance to meet a lot of great people here uh, within the university and the outside of the university. You know, I can go back to uh, my mother always saying, you know, just don't stay up there on that hill get to know the people in the town. And I was blessed to do that, you know, so I can honestly say I have friends from South Bricks to Skinny Atlas. You know, we truly bleed orange here and they, and they love their game. And, and it was my job to, to do what I do and play hard and play well for the fans showing that uh, I appreciate the love they've given me. Speaking of those fans, it was one of the Orange faithful that's near and dear to Lawrence's heart that came up with the nickname Poetry in Moton. Dave Johnson, I think it was the Colgate game. Dave Johnson uh, walked in the locker room and he said, this is crazy, this is crazy. And I'm like, Dave, what are you talking about? He said, I've been here four years and I don't have what you have. So I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you just gotta go out there and see. I'm not gonna tell you. So I lace up my sneakers and I, and I go out there and as soon as I walk under the tunnel and I come up and I look and I see the sign, Lawrence Poetry and Moat. You know, and it, it, it like hit me like, whoa, you know, they really appreciate what I've been doing. Mary Rose was her name. May she rest in peace. Uh, she was the lady who give, gave me that name. That was, you know, the sign that she had uh, on a sheet. She put it on an a, a, a actual uh, bed sheet and, and actually did it herself. And I got a chance to meet her. May she rest in peace now. But uh, she, one of the things she said that I remember fondly, she said, I've, I've been going to games for 33 years. And I watched a lot of Syracuse basketball, and by far, you're my favorite. From the D.C. high school scene to Syracuse University, even when he was with the Vancouver Grizzlies, going against Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, Moten making the most of every opportunity on the floor. And my main thing is this. I tell people this all the time. You know, when they say it should have happened a long time ago, maybe it should have, but it didn't, and... It's happening now, and the good thing about it happening now, which I truly appreciate, is um, if it would have happened 20 years ago, the little kids that I teach now wouldn't understand it. So, so now, you know, with me teaching and mentoring, they get to get to know, you know, and see, and you know, and, and it's more, it's, it's, it's all about staying relevant. At the end of the day, you have to stay relevant. You know, it keeps me out there, and like I said. Uh, it's, it's definitely a good feeling having a, a 10 year old come up to you and say, Mr. Moten, I hear they're retiring your jersey. <laughs> so that, that's, that's just a great feeling. Of course, here on the Orange Zone, we have Adrian Autry teaming up with poetry on many memorable plays, forging a bond that will last forever. Great guy, great guy. We've had some uh, great times on and off the court, you know, but one game that comes to memory was, uh, you know, and it was a game we lost, but it was definitely a memorable game. NCAA tournament, my junior year, we were playing against Missouri in L.A. And um, Adrian Archie didn't have any points in the first half, but he finished with 31. He had 31 points in the second half, and, and that was uh, phenomenal. And being out there on that court and seeing that, you know, it's not easy getting 31 points in a half. And he did it effortlessly. And... Uh, you know, hopefully we could have got the win, but we didn't. But uh, that was a great memory of Adrian. I consider him a, a brother of mine, you know, and, and nothing but good things for him in the future. 